with you uh, that involves the Drupal and Twilio APIs uh, living in harmony to send and receive SMS messages from your Drupal site. So this uh, simple module is actually an installation profile that lets you set up a Drupal site with the Twilio APIs default configured where you only have to add your app uh, API code which will then allow you to register for the site uh, via text message and you can see here I've set up a quick example uh, with a uh, example Twilio phone number and if we go ahead and try that out we should see how it works so we're gonna jump over here and give that a go if you just text something to this number that you see on the screen something like Drupal and Twilio are awesome and we send that text message we should see sh she shortly that the site sends back a response uh, letting us know that we've been registered. So let's go to our inbox and take a look. That a refresh there? Oh, there we go. Drupal and Twilio and Awesome. And <clears throat> we've registered for the, the Drupal Twilio Awesome Sauce site. And you can see here that it's provided a, a rather cryptic username, but a username nonetheless. And you can see it's also directed us to the main site. So let's dive into a little bit how this works. The, uh, the module itself, like I said, is an install profile, so it's actually uh, specifically designed to take advantage of some other modules out there and build off the frameworks that exist in Drupal. And in this case, specifically, uh, we're going to take uh, advantage of the SMS framework with uh, Twilio integration and using the Twilio PHP libraries. And you can see here that you can just simply run uh, drush make, and this URL actually points uh, directly to uh, the make file for... Um, for the site and then there's some configuration instructions. Once you have that it's easy enough to uh, work with it on your local instance and then easily push it up to a service like Pantheon which is great because that'll provide you some nice uh, simple and scalable hosting and then once uh, you've done that you can actually access the site and see uh, and keep and manage the accounts and then work with it uh, from there and you can see here that we have uh, a list of the users that have registered for the site and uh, we're going to look here and see that our newly registered user, 13, is right there. And it has the number it's in. The uh, make file uh, is a, follows a simple distribution format. And uh, you can see here that it's, uh, it's it looks just like an info file with uh, directions to the, uh, to the modules and themselves. And this actually points, uh, as I move along here, to uh, the actual simple SMS uh, installation profile that installs dependencies and these dependencies have uh, the default configuration uh, needed to install uh, SMS Twilio, the SMS uh, framework and also a default configuration to kind of glue all those pieces together. So what's nice with this is, is with this example you can you can see how the pieces are interconnected and even reuse the features to uh, make your own installation. And again you'd find those projects here at uh, drupal.org slash project slash SMS framework and you'll see that uh, it's not quite ready for Drupal 7, but to get around that, and the same thing with uh, Twilio SMS, again, drupal.org slash project slash SMS underscore Twilio, uh, and it has some instructions, but again, not quite ready for uh, 7x. So one of the nice things that this uh, module provides is some patching work. So you can see here, if we look at the SMS Twilio integration specifically, uh, we pull down the 7x dev, but then we also go ahead and patch it with some of the updates in the SMS framework as well. Uh, we pull that down from Drupal.org and then patch that with some of the updates. This helps make it a little bit more stable, a little bit easier to work with, and also works towards that reviewed and tested by the community uh, patch to, to actually get this to uh, be a release version. I hope you like uh, the Drupal Twilio integration with the SMS Simple Framework. Clearly you can see it's it's more simple from a developer experience uh, aspect, but also you can see that that helps us provide simple tools to build and leverage across many different types of configurations and even provide SIN methods on, on future projects that might involve organic groups or an open atrium or open public style build where uh, there's an apps type plugin. Thank you all for your time. Hope to see you at DrupalCon.